Okay, the right trend is uh, forceful and superficial and deep too level. So if the patient is asking to treat his respiratory system and not the colon, the colon seems to be fine according to the ear and according to the, the, the feeling of the patient. You just simply treat here. In this, this pause is Yang Ming. Yang Ming means dryness. So it's a lot of dryness, not enough moisture in his respiratory system. So he will have a lot of a cough and something. So the meals will fall. Overall introduction. Oh, introduction. So inflammation, feeling obstruction in the throat. There is a very, uh, very useful and specific herb for the obstruction in the throat. I'll tell you later. And the, most of the time, the inflammation, phlegm. And also, actually, you should combine with the something else. Let's go back to the to my drawings. Yes. Actually, you should put some attention to uh, you. Good. <laughs> okay, there's another pause there. Let's try this one. Uh, let's make it blue. On the Yang Wei. Yang Wei here. I don't have to show the, the, the exact position of the Yang Wei, huh? You just just know that. Here, this is the Yang Wei. Yang Wei most of the time is deep and forceful. That means the bronchitis. bronchitis. There's the inflammation here, not here. It's the lower part of the respiratory system. And this is the upper part of the respiratory system. So it's different. Most of the times you have, you see inflammation there. This is Yang Wei, okay? <coughs> Yang Wei. So put them all together is a lot of inflammation here. And you have to distinguish it whether it is uh, bronchitis or it's asthma. It's a little bit different, okay? That you just simply touch the rent 22 the point. If it's hot, it's asthma. We use something different, and which is very effective. Very untraditional medicine. You never heard of it uh, for, for treating asthma. It's very successful. And if this place feels like a freezing cold, it's bronchitis. And in the meantime, you should ask a patient not to. Not to take any cold stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey. So, for for the, there's a feeling of obstruction in the throat. There must be a lot of inflammation, and patient always complain about that. We have a uh, very interesting. Uh, herb for that, so good. And secondly, because the Yang Ming means the surface, so there's a possible there's skin problem. How do you tell this is skin problem or skin allergy? Not only from the right tun, it's also in something else. Come on, let's go back. Okay. I have discovered this. This is very interesting. I'm going to show you this. In Wei, I'm sorry, not In Wei. In Chao, remember the In Chao pause? Here. Oh, this is too thick. It's no good. In Chao. In Chao, what's the name? Q I. Q the. In Chao. Let's change the color. This is interesting. How how do you feel the in chow? It's very thin and wiry like a guitar string. Guitar has six strings, so this is supposed to be almost the thinnest. Very, very thin. Hmm. Okay. So in chow pause means several things. 
Whenever I feel inch pulse, if I have a time, I will tell the patient directly. You have headaches, dizziness, hemorrhoid, constipation, skin allergy. Combined with this uh, right twin, together you can definitely tell there's a skin problem. Skin problem has at least two categories. First is dryness, secondly is the dampness. Most dampness pulse, I'm sure you're already aware of it, is very deep and forceful. And dry pulse, this is the dry pulse. Yang Ming is dry. Superficial is dry. So, whenever this appears and this in chow appears, there's got to be something in the skin. Okay? The treatment will be uh, later. I'll tell you later how to treat it. Okay. Close the eyes. And... Ah, interesting. <laughs> So no matter what kind of uh, skin, how many, what, what, I mean, how, how, doesn't matter how it appears on the on the skin, the treatment is according to the pulse. We don't care too much about the symptoms. Oh, sorry. And of course, the, the, the constipation, dryness, dry stool. Okay, let's get on to it. So, how do you know this uh, the constipation? I will show you. Oh, it's my ear here. Okay, eyes. Hold on, what happened? Look at me now. Okay. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know. I If you see a red dot here, that we call a constipation point. That guy definitely will have some constipation. And of course, the redness. If something here, this is either constipation or, or hemorrhoid. Something like this. But if you see something, something like this, it's not black, it's something brown. brown. Something brown here, anywhere, that's polyps in the colon, okay? So, this is the hemorrhoid, and this is, uh, I'm sorry, this is constipation point. Yeah. Just learn it, huh? Okay, get back to the eyes. Yeah, we put you there. Made up. Okay, in chow, remember, huh? But anyway, for the skin, we're, we're talking about the skin problem here. Okay, let's go back to the PowerPoint. And the dryness of the, uh, okay. But the second uh, possible pause under number two is soft and deep and weak. In, uh, on, on the contrary to the floating strong pulse on right turn, is the deep and weak pulse on the on the on the right turn. Now it's like this. The right turn is not floating and jumping. The 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 turn is like this. That means the little spring down there is dead, or oh, not jumping. Very weak. Huh? Broken. It's broken. It says that there's no power of, of this spring, no rebound. The right twin is very weak. F first, also check the colon. It could be some kind of a hemorrhoid or colon problem, inflammation in a weak way. But most of the time, I would tell them, the patient, that you have a little virus infection in the respiratory system. So when you, you're not... Uh, too uh, confident about this uh, virus, there's a way to check it. Can we have a new par new, new, pic new page? Yeah. Empty page. Here? Yeah, so we turn on the whiteboard. Delete thing? Delete. This one? No, delete this one. Yeah, delete it. Oh, I cannot delete I still need this. Oh, you still need it? And then you have to make a copy first. <laughs> I want a new one. Try 
Okay. What does this look like? <laughs> That's a throat. <laughs> Tonsils. Okay, this is the tongue. This is the tonsil and this is the little tongue. If they have some redness here, that's the tonsillitis or something. It got nothing to do with virus. It's bacterial infection. Is it white dots or redness? Uh, white dot is dead. White dot, white dots means pus, means uh -huh. was prevalent or something. The red swollen uh, the, the, the tonsil is means bacterial infection. Got nothing to do with virus. So how do we tell this a virus is in here? In this area. This place we call column. So column, if the column is red and you see some dots in there, this looks like a bleeding point, something bleeding. That's definitely a virus. Usually, when you have, when people have virus, they don't have this tonsil. Oh, just red. Uh huh. And the tongue can be dirty and ugly. Don't mind that. So this is virus infection. Okay. How do we go back to the previous? Pull, pull up the you want to keep the oh, yeah, you I got it. it. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to point point. So, the number two could be the virus infection, low immune system. And how do we find the immune system? It's on the left one. The left one, the, the, the spring is spoken on the left one, is very weak. The, Sometimes you just barely can feel anything under the left one. That's funny. The artery just, the, the, the pause is just the artery. Artery just like a tube. So what? There's nothing, just, just a tube. But just in the middle, it's gone. The middle section of the pause is disappeared. You couldn't feel it. Only the twin and chi one is disappeared. It's autoimmune deficiency. That's the time I would. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I will ask them to eat more meat more red meat. 